guys welcome back to the channel it's your girl lisa i am so happy to be back i know that it's been quite a few months since i last uploaded any videos i am so very sorry for that but trust that i have an explanation for it um i trust that everyone is okay i am really 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 happy to be back and extremely grateful for all the people who have reached out to me regarding the channel just wanting to know what's going on and i am just here today to explain um what has been happening with me for the last couple months that i have been away so i believe the last video that i had uploaded was around maybe october maybe early november i'm not too sure but that video i would not say it was rushed um but I did not have a lot of um, content at the time. So what I did was I tried a different editing um, tool to see if I could actually um, lengthen the video a bit more. Now, with doing that, the quality of the video that I put out was not in line with the quality standard that I have set for myself because I've always said on here that I want to be consistent and not just consistently putting out videos but being consistent with the quality of the video so I had one subscriber actually reach out to me and made a comment you know in regards to that I was kind of annoyed because I was trying to explain that I didn't have a lot of content for that video so I tried something different um, to actually get a little bit more um, on that video so I ended up deleting the video altogether because of course like I said I was kind of irritated but over the last couple of months since then I have had some time to really think about it and it's just um, it just comes to show that it's this person was just holding me accountable for what it is that I had said in previous videos and it just feels good to know that I have people like that in my circle who would actually hold me to my word. So I have had a conversation because this is someone that's close to me. So I've had a conversation with this individual and um, we both understand each other. So now I basically decided, okay, I can put that to rest and just be grateful that I have someone like that in my life who can hold me accountable. So what have I been up to these last couple of months? Um, first things first, Happy New Year. I know it's kind of late because we're in March right now, but Happy New Year to everyone. I hope you guys had a great holiday season with your family and that, you know, so far 2024 has been going good for you and um, that you guys are healthy and well and just, you know, enjoying 2024 so far. So at the end of the year last year, uh, I was really wanting to move from where we were living um, previously. As you can see, you know, this is a new space. So I had, I can't really say that I was praying for it because my prayer life, honestly, really it has not been what it needs to be. But I wrote down a list of things that I wanted in a new home because I knew that I wanted to move my basement apartment it was a one bedroom it was just you know Lani and I so one bedroom it was fine um, but it started to feel really cramped and I wasn't really happy in that space honestly um, it was again a basement so it was dark not a lot of you know uh, natural light coming in and it just I was just in a mood all the time where I was sad I was depressed I was lonely and um, I felt like it was time for me to move but as many of you may know, Canada is going through an inflation period. Um, we are also having a housing crisis where um, the rent is just through the roof. So I was just you know, trying to figure out how can I afford to move because this isn't working for me anymore. So I went ahead, I wrote down the list of things that I wanted in a, in a new place, you know, down to the paint color of the walls, the color of the cabinets, um, you know how many bedrooms I wanted, um, the proximity to school, um, Lani school, work, just everything that I wanted basically. So 
not too long after doing that, I received a call that an apartment um, was be had become available. So if I wanted to come see it, so I was like, okay, cool. I'll just, you know, I'll go see it. The crazy thing is um, this apartment is within walking distance to my job. I wanted a place that was also close to the Lani school, as I mentioned. With this one, unfortunately, it's a bit further away. But the crazy thing is there's a, a high school literally within walking distance from this apartment. It's not even 10 minutes walk from this apartment. So I, I came here. I saw the place. The previous tenant was just, you know, moving out. So, of course, the place was still a mess. But the paint of, you know, the color of the walls, it wasn't what I wanted or anything like that. It, it was pretty much a mess. But I could see that beyond all of that mess, this place had a lot of potential. So I said yes right away. Mind you, I didn't really know how I was going to afford the down payment and all of that stuff, but I just trusted that, okay, God gave me this opportunity so he will make everything come, you know, together. Uh, so I signed all the documents. I was able to come up with the money for the down payment. When I tell you everything just fell into place, everything fell right into place. Anyways, a couple weeks later, the building manager contacted me and asked if I wanted to come over to see it because they had been doing renovations. And when I tell you, when I came here, I was so happy. Like, the amount of space this place has, um, the wall colors, like everything just pretty much is what I wanted. So we have moved. We are in a new space, um, very spacious lots of storage space the kitchen is really nice everything that i wanted and more it's within you know walking distance to uh, grocery shopping dining um, the beach is not too far away i just yesterday lani and i walked to the beach because it was one of the first really sunny days that we had so we decided to go out so i have just been enjoying this space it's a bit overwhelming at times because like i said it's so big that it's just Lani and I, she's in one end of the, the apartment, I'm in the other end, and we're just doing our own thing. But at the same time, I am still so grateful that, you know, we have this space with all this natural lighting. We have, you know, beautiful kitchen. I can sit at the dining table and just look outside, you know, just look at, you know, the trees and the animals just, you know, going by, squirrels, you know, hearing the pelicans outside and everything, watching people walk by. It just feels so good. Like my mood has just been lifted. It's such a great space to be in. So that's one thing that actually happened at the end of last year was that we moved to a new apartment. Um, like I mentioned before, Lani decided to stay at her school. So she has to commute, you know, by bus um, to school. But if in the event she wants to move, she does have the option of another school that's just within walking distance to our place. And with my job, it's just across the street. It's probably like two blocks away, so I can just walk to work. When I do my 7 a.m. shifts, I prefer to take the bus. It's just a few stops down the road, but I'm at work within less than seven minutes. So that's one thing. Um, another reason why I kind of took a pause away from YouTube is because at, at Christmas time, during the holidays, I get, you know, a seasonal depression. And that's really because it's dark and gloomy all the time. And in addition to that, I don't have my family here. My mom reminds me all the time just how much she misses me around Christmas. She gets sad as well because, you know, we're used to being together and just cooking and spending time together. So. Um, it's a tough time for me. It really does, you know, get me down a bit. So I really needed to just step away and, and just, you know, take some time for me. Um, another thing that was also happening was, um, as you know, I got the new career opportunity in healthcare. So with that came a lot of prerequisites that I had to get ready for. I had to do and just get ready for uh, school, which I'm going to be starting school in a few weeks. So I had a lot of blood work and um, vaccines to take. I've already had five shots uh, in addition to my COVID vaccines, and then I have one more to go so I can actually get my certification of completion for all of my vaccines. Um, I also had a lot of 
coursework that I had to do online always and always and always and always of coursework. So it was just, it was a lot um, that I had to do. Plus I had to keep up with my doctor's appointments for post surgeries because you know, the breast reduction and the fibroid surgeries that I had last year. So I still have to do follow ups on all of those things. So basically I had a lot of things going on between that last video that I posted last year and then ended up deleting to now. Um, I'm almost done with all of my prerequisites. I'm still signing documents and, you know, from the school, they're still sending us documents that we have to sign and different things that we have to, you know, do for just to be ready to start school. So um, I just really felt like I needed to take a step away because it was just too much. In addition to all of those things, I still had to be mom, you know, to Lani. I still had to go to work. So I, I really could not, and I do hope that you guys understand, but I really felt overwhelmed by everything that I had going on at the time. I just needed to take a break from all of that. So like I mentioned, school is starting in a few weeks. Um, Cause really it's going to be a six months course. It's going to be pretty short. Um, but at, with that, there's going to be a lot of work. We're going to have like labs. We're going to, I have my preceptorship to do and also um, there's something else that we have to do during that time as well um, practicum right so it's gonna be pretty intense um, a lot of work uh, so I'm just ready for it to start and so I can move on with you know with things once I'm done school and then I, I have to do a year of return of service to my current employer and then decide as a casual and then decide if I want to stay on with them or if I want to move on to maybe another uh, facility or if I want to move to a hospital or if I want to just do part-time, part-time with both. So a lot of things have has been happening, um, but I'm really excited for the journey. I'm excited to be here back, you know, with you guys and just um, share what's been going on and uh, move forward and see where this takes us. So I just wanted to shout out my friend Naima in Saskatoon. I know that, you know, she's been one of these, those people who have been there for me and has never really let me go. We're, we're not, we're not always in contact constantly, but we are still in contact. We reach out to each other and we support each other. So I just wanted to shout you out, Nai. I am really grateful for you. And I will be doing um, a lot more cooking videos because I know that's something that Naima also is looking forward to. It's something that I enjoy, something that relaxes me. And it's one of the ways that I actually, um, one of the things that actually helps with my anxiety. So, uh, I will be doing a lot more videos, uh, cooking videos so I can share recipes and just different techniques of how I do certain things, my meal preps, um, and all that for work. A lot of people always ask me like how is it that you can eat the same food every single day honestly if you prepare things that you enjoy then it's not gonna really be a problem because for me that's what I do so that's um, one of the things that you can look forward to and just whatever else you know goes on with us in the meantime that we're able to share I will share that with you uh, but apart from school and work there's nothing really there's nothing else that's really going on it's just school is pretty heavy work is pretty heavy so it takes um kind of a toll on me at times so that's basically all that's been going on with us um what else yeah i think that's pretty much um that's pretty much all um I am just in a way, way, you know, much better headspace right now. I had some stuff going on in my personal life. I've kind of just nipped that in the bud and um, trying to focus on my own healing and peace of mind and all of that stuff. And I'm really enjoying my new place. I really, really, really do love it. It's in a great neighborhood. It's kind of like a senior's community, but with that, it's, it makes it very family oriented. So once we were walking on the street, you know, people always greet you. They're saying hi, they're saying hello, you know, they'll smile. So it's really nice. And there's a lot of like, you know, um, 
you know, scenic areas around the beach is not too far. As I mentioned yesterday, it was one of those days we had, I think, temperatures up to 19 degrees. So it's pretty hot out and a lot of people were outside just enjoying the sunshine. So Lani and I went for a walk down at the beach and crazy enough, there were so many people at the beach. Like we were walking in crowds. It's so many people. So I did record a little bit of um, what was happening there or time. We had ice cream and pizza and whatever. And we actually got to walk. Well, Lani had been there before, um, but it was my first time. So that's the uh, White Rock Pier. It's actually the longest pier in Canada, right? So I was able to go on that yesterday, but it was Lani's second time. She wasn't really feeling it, but still, she did it. So I have a little bit um, of a recording of that, so I will just put it in right now. And like I said, guys, I am really excited to be back. I am so grateful for all of you guys who have, you know, watched all of my videos, who have um, reached out to find out what's going on and have uh, actually encouraged me to continue going. I am so very grateful for all of you guys, and I can't wait to see where this journey takes us. So I do hope you enjoy the next couple of clips, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye, guys. Oh,